Hey, what's up, people? JSF here with another video about Injustice 2. And I want to talk about something that a lot of us have touched on and a lot of people have heard about but weren't, you know, completely sure if we should take it seriously or with a grain of salt or not. And that's the leak that happened two months ago. And honestly, after what's happened yesterday and today, we now have 100% confirmation that the leak is true and that the roster that was posted is legit. So, if you're unfamiliar with the leak, I made a video about it. I'll post a link in the description. But, you know, the, the short answer is some guy in uh, December, so about just about two months ago now, went on 4chan and posted, like, that he was working for the company, the third-party company that was developing the Injustice 2 mobile game, and that it was a different game from the first one. And he was like, you know, he had all these characters, and he was like, here are characters that I know for sure are in the mobile version of the game. Maybe there's a chance they're not in the console, but they're 100% in the mobile game, which meant the likelihood of them being in the console was extremely high. And so the list was Joker, Bane, Poison Ivy, Swamp Thing, Black Canary, Catwoman, Cyborg, Hal Jordan, Jon Stewart, Cheetah, Firestorm, Flash, Scarecrow, Green Arrow, Captain Cold, Brainiac, Damian Wayne, Black Adam, Dr. Fate, Power Girl, Zoom, and Mr. Freeze. And he said the main villain of the story is Brainiac. So this was before the story trailer came out, before Poison Ivy, Bane, Robin as Damian Wayne got announced. You know, he called all of those characters happening. He also called, you know, Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart both being in the game. And we know now that they're a premier skin. So they share, they share the same character slot, but they're both in. But yeah, <clears throat> so yesterday Swamp Thing got revealed, who's also on this list. Then today Catwoman and Cheetah got revealed, who are also on this list. Which, you know, Catwoman is a guess we could have made. That's not a surprise to anyone. But Cheetah, like people thought maybe if the list was accurate, she would be um, a premier skin as well. That she would share the same side as Catwoman. I wasn't that sold on that idea, and I even spoke about it a little bit in the other video. I was like, just because Cheetah's a little different, she's a lot more primal. Catwoman's got, you know, gadgets and a whip and... And apparently uses a motorcycle and Cheetah just like straight up claws and jumping and pouncing and stuff like that. So yeah, Cheetah's her own character. But the thing that really like proves this and puts it over the top was that today some gameplay, the first ever gameplay of the Injustice 2 mobile game came out. Like it leaked out, I believe, from a foreign um a foreign source and it's on YouTube. I don't think I'll be allowed to post the footage of it. I'll see, but not exactly sure. But anyway, in that footage, it shows the Injustice 2 mobile game, the one he talked about developing. And when he talked about it, he also posted some pictures of uh, Harley Quinn as like, you know, concept pictures or just art that was going to go in the game. And if you watch the footage and look through like the, because um, you know how they have like cards for each character. If you look at one of them and it's literally one of the pictures he posted and they were nowhere on the internet before he posted them. Like people search for him, they were no deviant art or anything like that. So like the concept art was real that he posted and he really had it straight from the source. But also when you watch the gameplay footage, you see Green Lantern Hal Jordan, who we knew was in the game, and you see Scarecrow, like the first we ever see or hear of Scarecrow. So it, and he's one of the characters like he isn't unlocked. You they show them fighting him, but he's an unlockable character. You can see it. So if he's playable in you know the first version of the Injustice Two mobile game, there's a really good chance he'll be playable in the main game. And you also see Cyborg, and then you see Flash as well. But yeah, so it just confirms two more characters, which are Scarecrow and Cyborg. And Scarecrow's not the character you could guess. Like, oh yeah, just throw it. Like, you could guess Flash, Green Lantern, Catwoman. But the fact that he got Cheetah, he got Bane, he got Ivy, he got Scarecrow. He had the Harley Quinn concept art from the game. Like, this leak is very legit. It's 100% legit. Like, we know and have known the roster since we started paying attention to this about a month ago. Even though it happened before then, everybody just kind of swept it under the rug or, you know, brushed it off. It was like, eh, anybody can say they have a leak. And, yeah, it's actually legit. It's 100% real. Like, the only things people could question is, like, why does it say Zoom's on there for reverse flashes in the game? And the thing is, Professor Zoom is the name of the reverse flash. In, in the comics, Zoom's color scheme is yellow, and um, it's the reverse of the Flash. Like, Zoom, Hunter Zolomon is a reverse Flash. So don't get it confused with the TV show Zoom. Like, even if they did Zoom as a reverse Flash, like, he would still be that color scheme. It's all one character. Or even if it's two separate characters, they're both still reverse Flashes. 
And with Captain Cold and Mr. Freeze, that's easily a premier skin situation. I mean, I know I say Cheetah and Catwoman are different, but Captain Cold and Victor Freeze are just two men with cold guns. Like, Freeze wears a helmet, you know, and his voice is distorted, but at the end of the day, they're both using cold weapons, so they could share the same moves, and I don't think anyone would complain. So that would make sense for that happening. And honestly, at this point, if you count up the characters that were revealed before this leak came out, because this leak came out during the drought uh, in December when we weren't getting any, any information after Harley and Detch got revealed. So if you add those characters, if you add the characters on this list and you throw like Power Girls and Premier Skin, Zoom, Mr. Freeze, you know, them sharing character slots and you add it up, it adds up to the right amount of characters for release. Like it adds up to 28, maybe 27 with Dark Side. I forget exactly, but I counted it up and it adds up perfectly. And this lines up right with, you know, what the select screen is say. So we have proof. We know the roster. You know, Netherrealm hasn't said anything. Not that they always speak out, but there have been times in the past where people have acted like they are inside sources and gave false information. Like with Injustice 1 and like, you know, maybe a developer was like, hey, watch out for trolls. You know, don't listen to everything you hear. But they're silent about this. So that's just another side. So yeah, I just wanted to say the leak is real, legit. We have proof. Um, if you don't believe me, watch the footage. I'll link that too. The footage of the gameplay of the mobile game. And like when he's scrolling through all the characters, like you can unlock. Just look at one of the pictures of Harley Quinn and it's literally the same as a concept already posted. And you see Scarecrow, you see all the other characters in it. And yeah, it's pretty real. But um, what do you guys think? Like, do you guys still not believe? Are you still unsure? Do you still want to say we won't know for sure until the game gets fully, you know, revealed and the roster's out? I don't know, I'm just saying, it looks pretty, I'm I'm like 102% sure this is real. It isn't exactly the dream roster I wanted, but, you know, there's always DLC. And I'll talk about that in another video. But anyways, yeah, if you liked this video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And just have fun.